I think the unique thing about the American Indian students location is how close it is to the heart of campus. It's right south of our main classroom building, the rotunda, and then it's right next to three dorms that were named after minority individuals. Uh, two of them were American Indians. Spencer Hall was named after Velva Lou Spencer, who was our first Native American program director. And then Ben Rifle was named after Congressman Ben Rifle, who uh, served our state from Congressional District Number 1, which is the eastern part of South Dakota. And he was born and raised on the Rosebud Reservation, and he had a tremendous career serving Native American people. We wanted the atrium to show not only the beauty of American Indian art, but also to bring energy into the building. So as you enter the main entrance, the horses are running across the wall. They're beautiful and they're exciting. And so that, I think, brings the energy into it. And then there's two historical pieces that are located to your left as you enter the building. And they speak to the impact of the two major treaties that were signed by the Lakota people, the Treaty of 1858 and the Fort Laramie Treaty of 1868. If you turn around and exit the building, you look up and you see this beautiful encampment ledger art that then is blown up. The encampment is meant to symbolize going into the campus community classes in American Indian studies and in language, but also American history. Those are the types of classes I've always envisioned being in the classroom. The drum room on the outside is just spectacular uh, with metal panels that symbolize water and fire. It's just uh, an amazing piece of work that I've studied over the summer as I've walked on campus and those surfaces change color with light all day, every day, and every day they're different. So it, it is really an amazing piece of art. On the inside of what we refer to as a drum room, it's an octagonal shape. And so seven of those walls represent the seven council fires. So inside are large pieces of ash that were taken from a tree that was from the campus uh, when it died. And, and we made into boards and then the names of those seven council fires are uh, engraved in the wood. The purpose of the room is really a drum room where students can learn songs and learn the culture of the Dakota, Lakota, and Nakota people. The student space is designed to be that warm home away from home where students can gather, build relationships, support each other. It's a big step for American Indian students to come from the reservation or a, a American Indian community in Rapid City or Sioux Falls, for example, and come to a, a campus of this size. And so that space is meant to be a safe space for them. Uh, again, that home away from home. The space upstairs is just a, a very nice place to study, to read. If you watch students use the upper level of the current student union, I think that's what we will see. We'll see students working in small groups or studying. It'll be kind of that quiet place, but it's very bright. It looks over the atrium and the beautiful artwork and also looks over the roof of the classroom so you can see the solar panels that were installed there to generate electricity. We do have an art room that will be used for students to do everything from making uh, fancy dance costumes to drawings or it could be sculpture. Art is a very um, important way for those students to express themselves and it'll be really fun to see how that emerges over time and to see what comes of that. The offices for a counselor, a program director, a student advisor, some grad students that are there to support the students are right there. They're in their own wing, which I think is a good thing separate from the student space. One of the things that we didn't do, what we didn't put any uh, university administrative offices there. This is about students and serving students. 